there's some superb players up there and uh, it's, it's, it's uh, an eye open to see how much more uh, still goes on in drumming when you move outside of rock and roll. You know, inside rock and roll I play quite a lot. If, if you take what I play and put it into the big band and swing context, I don't play very much at all. Um, it's a totally different discipline. In rock and roll, my job is to make the groove and occasionally do something clever, to fill up, to make a point. In big band, every bar, it's a push beat or a pull beat or a tacit, you leave it, leave it alone, and you're thinking every bar. You're not thinking about grooving, you're thinking about where do the horns stab, where do they not make a noise, what's the bass doing? You know, it's the whole thing is a totally different thing. And um, I, I don't ever get nervous going on stage. I even playing with the orchestras, I never got nervous. But this, I've done two things with a big band, and it's definitely a sphincter clencher, because there's so much to remember. And you know that uh, this is not what you do. It's something you love, but what you do, you don't do it day to day. So, you know, in my case, I'm working on the edge here to make it work right. Well, for the songs I'm doing, and I choose, I chose two really, in the context of Buddy Rich stuff, I chose two simple ones. No solos, just nice flowing pieces of music. Um, I just listened and listened and have been listening for the last month to try and pick up all the little bits and pieces because every bar is something different and everything has to be remembered. I mean, Buddy didn't read music because what he was doing, you couldn't keep up with to read it. It was, it, it was for that spur of the moment, and that's the way you have to play it. Therefore, you have to be, I mean, you have to be locked in subconsciously with, with everything each section of the, the band is doing. So, you know, you've got the horns doing one, well, the sax is doing one thing, the trombones another, the trumpets another, the bass, the, 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 the piano. So you've got to be aware of all these things. So for the last month, I've been doing nothing but drive myself crazy with these two tunes, so I try and pick up as much of it as I can. There's certain things that, he's done on the tracks that I just physically can't do. Um, even if I learnt them, it wouldn't be something I would do naturally, therefore it would be false, and it wouldn't flow properly. So where it's something I think is perfect for the part, I'll, I'll pay homage to what he did. And where I think it's something that I wouldn't play, I'll put something that I would put in. But trying to keep the spirit and the feel of the thing the same. Um, there's no point in trying to replicate something uh, which is perfect. Even if you get it the same, you've done, you've achieved nothing. But if you can uh, change a few little bits and pieces and uh, stamp your own personality on it, then that's far more valuable than just being a mimic. You know. Every now and again, you get an offer in your career which you cannot refuse. This is one of them. Uh, playing with Sir Paul was another one. You just get things come up and you say, I've got to do it because it might never come again and I can look back on something really, really great. Well, when I was a kid, my father's music was always in the house, and it was always big band swing, Tommy Dorsey, Glenn Miller, you name every big band you can think of. Um, and you start listening to the, as you start to play drums, you, you know, the, this stuff you've heard since you were a kid starts to come through. And when you start to play, uh, all these subconscious memories come back, and you try to copy the sounds you heard. And in my case, more so the sounds I heard than the, than the, than the sounds I was hearing on the radio. Um, so when I when I played something, I had to. The only way I could get it out was the way I heard these guys in the past do it, and that's what I've taken all the way through my career is playing rock and roll, like you know, like a swing drummer. And if it, if it gives me a difference, that's what it is. Uh, I love the music, but loving it's not the same as playing it. Playing it's a whole new a whole new ball game. Well, there are certain people who are just born to do one thing and they do it better than anybody else. Hussein Bolt can run faster than anybody else. He was born to do that. Buddy plays drums better than anybody else, you know. And I don't believe he will, another one will come along like that. It's just so natural for him. The freedom within the rhythm is so effortless. Um, he's at home with it. I understand a lot of what he's doing. A lot of what he does I find very simple. But he, he does it at a different level. So I understand when, when you can think of it and you can transmit that thought to your hands, you're doing something that a lot of people cannot do. But he's thinking and doing it at a different level. And nobody else has caught it.